Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to take a look at the new L85A2 Assault Rifle. This is one of the five guns that was uh, recently released with the new patch. Now there's been some uh, debate about whether or not these guns were actually supposed to come out with the new patch. It doesn't really look like it. It looks like they accidentally released uh, um, the DLC weapons ahead of time because they're not actually listed on Battlelog but you can unlock them and if you uh, want to unlock the L85A2 it's got some different requirements than most guns. The requirements for these new guns you have to get all of the requirements in one single game. If you get 90% of it in one game and that round ends it resets. So what you need to do for this weapon is you need to get one defibrillator kill, one 40 millimeter grenade kill in a round, that's the high explosive grenade launcher, get a kill with a pistol in a round, and then you need three assault rifle ribbons. It's not too hard, I think the defib kill can be the trickiest part of it depending on what kind of game you're in. If you're in a game that has snipers and that sort of thing, it's pretty easy to sneak up behind somebody and get your defib kill. Just remember to charge up those defibs before you zap them. Now I've always been a big fan of the L85, it's a very iconic bullpup weapon. It's a British assault rifle and this new one for Battlefield 4 has got a rail system on the front end. Instead of having that standard green handguard that I think a lot of people are used to seeing on this weapon, we need now have a black rail system which is much more realistic if you're going to be modifying this weapon with grips and lasers and all sorts of accessories. Now Simthick.com does not yet have stats for this weapon, they're working on it as we speak and hopefully uh, within the day or within a few days they'll have stats for it and we can sort of analyze the heck out of it. But until then I can give you a pretty good report on how it feels. I've unlocked most of the attachments for this weapon and experimented with pretty much all of the attachments. And I will say that the only way I was able to get this gun shooting uh, in a state where I was actually enjoying it was with the stubby grip and muzzle brake. The recoil on this gun just seems to be a little bit erratic and I was having a very hard time using it at medium and longer ranges initially. Once I unlocked that stubby and muzzle brake, I was actually able to get some kills with it and people were saying how the L85 was OP and stuff in the server, which I found to be funny because I, I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the way that this gun currently performs. The reload time just seems to take forever and a day and uh, since it's not very effective from the get-go and you have to unlock tons of stuff for it before it seems to be a decent weapon, uh, it really isn't the greatest gun overall. Now, I'm going to try not to get into too much technical stuff with this because maybe there is some sort of aspect of it that I'm overlooking and uh, that's honestly what's so great about having gun stats available is that you can see, oh my god, it's actually got great hip fire accuracy. If I just put an ergo grip and a laser sight on here, I can just hip fire all day. You know, so stats will help out with that and try and figure out how I can get this gun to perform better. Uh, my initial reaction is that I'm not crazy about it, but that doesn't mean to say it doesn't have a future in Battlefield 4. Now, if you guys weren't aware that you could unlock five new guns with this latest patch, you're probably going to want to know how to do that because it's not listed in battle log anywhere. And the only way you can really figure it out is if you actually complete some of the requirements. Uh, your assignments tab at the end of a round will actually tell you how close you got to unlocking your gun. So here's how you actually unlock the other guns. There's the L96A1 sniper rifle. For this you need to get three sniper ribbons, get a kill with a shotgun, get a kill with a DMR, and get a C4 kill. Then there's the MTAR carbine, which uh, I'm going to have a video on tomorrow. Carbine, carbine, whatever you guys want to say. Uh, what you need to do is you need to get a kill with an assault rifle, get a kill with an LMG, get a kill with a sniper rifle, and get a kill with a hand grenade. That's probably the easiest one to unlock, and it's actually a pretty decent carbine in close to medium range. The rate of fire is just crazy. Then we've got the RPK-74M light machine gun, which comes with the wood stock and wood grip, and uh, that's just something that I really like on any sort of AK platform is that would look. But uh, to get that one is really easy. You just need three LMG ribbons and then you have to get a kill with a mortar in a round. And lastly, there is the MP7 for the engineer. And to get this, you have to destroy an air vehicle with a portable AA and then you have to get three anti-vehicle ribbons. There's also some cool little gadgets that you can play around with if you join an unranked server with everything unlocked. There's like a cool little UAV thing and then this um, 
sort of air guided grenade launcher thing that looks very cool for the support class and you can play around with those unfortunately i really don't think dice meant to give us these gadgets just yet in their haste to patch the game fix the game make sure it's running well for us i think they accidentally included some new material which is unfortunate and i'm not going to fault them for it because uh, i really appreciate all the hard work that the devs are doing to get this game working well. Now speaking of which, the latest patch has actually made some really big improvements to the network code. I'm not saying the network code is great now, but it's a huge upgrade compared to where it used to be. So you can actually play, there's far less uh, dying around corners, you can snipe with sniper rifles, DMRs are becoming more usable, I still don't like them. Um, bolt action sniper rifles are actually a lot of fun to use. I've been playing around with the L96 and uh, definitely wrecking some people with that gun. Client side crashes have been reduced. I haven't really seen any more server crashes. There was an issue when the patch first came out where servers were crashing after every game, but that has now been fixed. And so the game is in a much more playable state, a much more fun state right now. We still have some uh, kind of big bugs like the sound issue that I know a lot of people are experiencing. I'm experiencing that too where you'll join a map like Gold Mud Railroad and all of a sudden you just can't hear anything and that's kind of a that's kind of a game breaking issue I would say right now especially considering how important sound is in Battlefield 4 and how good it sounds. Again we have a long way to go with patching this game and getting it flowing smoothly. There's going to be tons of balancing to do for months to come but the game is finally in a good playable state. Uh, which is perfect because it's just in time for the next-gen consoles. If the next-gen consoles had any lag issues, hopefully those can be patched with the, the latest work that the devs have done. So that's kind of exciting. I got my PlayStation 4 today. I haven't hooked it up yet, but I'm really looking forward to getting into that. I highly encourage you guys to go unlock the new guns, play around with them. Let me know what you think of the L85A2. This won't be the last L85A2 review. Once I get the stats on there, I'll probably revisit this gun and try and figure out how to make it perform uh, the best that it possibly can. I think the reload time on this one is really just sort of the the Achilles heel for me personally. So in conclusion, we got a lot of new guns dropped in our laps, not a lot of stats yet for them, but uh, if you wanna see more previews, more gameplay with these new guns, stay tuned to my channel. Over the weekend, I'm gonna have some more videos for you guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.